loves, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. I know I'm in the car, but we're not doing everything in the car today. I did have to run a couple errands, so I'm doing that now. And then we'll go home. I'm going to do a couple little organizing things. Hopefully that made fun to do together. I might bake something. I don't know. I'm sure you will know by whatever is in the thumbnail. But at this point, I'm not really sure exactly what all I'm going to do today, but I have some ideas. Um, so first I'm running to Walmart because I got to get some stuff some lady products tbh my peek at their makeup i need some new lash glue i am married to the house of lashes lash glue but but it is out and i tried a different lash glue i tried the allure lash glue and my eyeballs did not like it so i'm gonna try and maybe go find some duo i don't know this road is so bumpy i got a new mic heck yeah um i actually got the same tiny one that apparently taylor wind vlogs with i totally went to one of her videos and i was like okay i know this girl this everything because she's a queen and she listed it it was like 25 bucks so hopefully it's good i now have two new mics are you guys excited there's a new mic um for when i film those try-ons and there's this little teeny tiny mic for when i'm out vlogging which is very helpful so i hope that the sound will be improved i guess we will see just doing my best. Well, if you saw one of my last vlogs, I think it was my last vlog, uh, when we went to Target and they had those cute pink bins and I was like, I don't need a fancy bin, but I figured out something I could use one of those clear pink bins for. I have obviously a lot of extra makeup and I need to like put together a bin that is gonna be both like gifts for Poshmark orders and then I thought I might do some sort of like, then maybe I could do some sort of like makeup bottles on Poshmark or something. Cause I know there's some of you guys that have been kind of bummed. You want to shop Poshmark, but you can't because you're not the same size as me, you know? And that's so fun. Actually, I think I'm going to get a coffee first because I can, because I can. And there's coffee right next to Walmart. So we're going to get a coffee, uh, so we can get all the things done today. I definitely slept a little later than I wanted to, but you know what? That happens. It happens. Uh, I'm trying to think of everything. Uh, I'm gonna get a coffee and then I have something I want to chat with you guys about but I want to like collect my brain before I, I go into it so BRB okay we're not getting coffee because apparently the Starbucks is closed right now what is it 2 23 on a Sunday they look very closed um, yep they are closed okay so we're gonna go to Walmart and then we'll get coffee and we'll do our target pickup and stuff but dang that's a bummer that's okay you know what? Roll with the punches. That's all you can do. Just gotta keep on going. Worst? How am I gonna get out of here? I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we have parked at Walmart. I'm gonna pop in there in just a minute. We might look at a couple things. I don't know. We'll see how I feel when I get in there. It looks pretty busy, so I might just like pop in and grab a couple things and then pop out. Okay, I just checked that back and the beginning of what I when I was talking, there was some weird feedback. So I'm checking the mic again. I don't know what the deal is. I'm hoping it's in there. Good enough. All the other clips are fine. But basically, I'm just gonna tell you the start of it and then I'll I'll cut the two pieces together. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to kind of connect with you guys more. And I came up with this concept. I, I made an email. It's just askshortcake at gmail.com. And I figured you guys could just send questions, kind of like a Q&A, but more of a generalization thing. Like if you need some relationship advice, if you're like trying to find a dress for your birthday, if you're trying to find a dress to a wedding, something like that. I'm just trying to think of things that I could do and maybe it could benefit more than one person. You know, you never know. You never know. Um, there's so many things that I think we can connect more on. And I was just trying to think of a way to connect better with you guys and kind of cover more bases because I mean, fashion and beauty and all of these things are so much fun and I love them. Don't get me wrong. But if I can connect with you guys more and maybe make a little bit more of a difference in one way or another, I think that would make my heart so happy. Like if you want to talk about self-love, relationships, clothes I mean make up anything you want to talk about we can talk about but I just kind of wanted to make sure that that was kind of that was clear in the message was I just wanted to find a way to connect with you guys more so any sorts of questions you have of course I can't commit to like responding to every single one and I probably honestly won't respond to the emails I will pick them and put them in the videos so oh, I hope that makes sense that way it could be kind of a more broad thing and if there's something you just want to chat about if you want it to be anonymous, you can, and if I can't answer the questions for you, I can do my best to find you resources. Um, like, there's certain intimacy things that I'm not big on talking about on my YouTube channel, but 
I know I can find you those resources. So if that's something you're looking for, I'm just thinking of random things. Like that's the only thing I can really think of that I wouldn't be 100%, you know, comfortable talking about, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, um, but to an extent, there's certain things that of course I'm willing to talk about. So if you have things that you want to talk about, you can send them to ashshortcake at gmail.com you know, a video. I don't know if I'll do them every week, if I'll do them once a month. Um, it really just depends on how many questions I get. Like if you are looking for, there were a lot of questions that were asked in my last couple Q and A's that I feel like could be elaborated on more if you guys want to. It could be something simple. Like you're like, I am looking for a birthday dress. Can you pick me out five birthday dresses that like you would pick and I can like go find five birthday dresses and show you. Or if you guys want to know more about like plus size dating, stuff like that. I mean, you can ask personal questions too if you want to, of course. It's at my discretion. If there's anything too personal and I don't feel like answering it, if I don't have the resources for you, I can always try and find them for you. It's something like that. So I just thought it might be a more open communication. And that way, if you guys just need some advice, want to rant to someone, like anything at all, I'm trying to think of all the things I could even think of. Um, self-love could be a really big part of it. Of course, I feel like that's such a big part of my channel because I, obviously I still have bad days, but if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I have gone from like negative to like, you know, some decent self-love some days. So I think that, you know, there's some things that have helped me along the way that if, you know, if you're into it and you want to know more or things like anything, you know, I mean, send whatever you want. If I can clarify, if like I start to see things that are working, I'll touch base with you guys and let you guys know. Like, you know, I thought I would just give it a go. I thought I would give it a go. So anyway, hopefully you guys are into that. I'll put them in my purse. There we go. I'll put them in my purse. That way, if I need to put them on, I'm going to clean them first because I keep putting them back on and I'm like, girl, these are dirty. I am rambling. I was worried that this vlog today wouldn't be that long because there's not too much that I, you know, have to do. Hopefully this all put, put together is going to make some sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop in Walmart. My target order is ready and I'm going to go see what I can find. I'm going to peek at the, I'm going to grab my prescriptions. I'm going to get some lady products. <laughs> I'm going to look at the makeup. I'm going to look, I need some lash glue because House of Lashes has been out of their lash glue for so, so long. I'm sorry. Now I'm holding you because I didn't want to put you all the way back on the tripod because you were just there but I will make sure from now on that this mic is like completely plugged in I think that's the only thing it could have been I don't know sorry guys trial and error I am just one person one human doing this all by myself so I'm not perfect at all I'm just doing my best um but okay let's go to Walmart she's over there can you see her can you oh you can see her it's busy I'm not ex I'm not excited mm, I hate when it's busy okay let's go all right, loves, let's go to Walmart. <laughs> I didn't look at too much stuff. I did peek at the makeup, but that section was, again, really busy. I mean, it probably wasn't that busy, but too busy for me. You know, wasn't vibing, but I did peek at some stuff. I thought those little clips were cute. I needed more of these very basic ones. Sometimes I like to put them underneath my ponytail to make it stay in place. So yeah, I was just looking. A lot of stuff was gone. There was some new nyx stuff if you guys want to see any of it in a video i am very excited i almost bought some but i do have an ulta gift card from christmas so i think i'm gonna wait and go and try and grab it at ulta i could have grabbed so many things oh my goodness but finally because the line was so long in the little beauty center i was like it's fine so i went ahead and looked at other stuff in the store i checked out their valentine's day stuff they didn't really have a lot of decor just a lot of gifts so if you're looking for something to get your valentine or you need a little sneaky snack i thought that little fox was cute <laughs> um they had some cute dish towels but not a lot of decor but i could just be late because i honestly don't go and hang out at walmart very often uh, i thought those little bags were so cute they were so tiny and then this coffee mug was my size of coffee mug that thing was huge uh so i just kind of thought i'd show you there was some cute stuff uh Look how cute this is. Although, funny story, I turned it on and I could not get it to turn off. I felt very bad. Uh, I thought these were cute. I feel like uh, DJ would get a kick out of these. I almost got him one and then I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to bake something. We'll see. We'll see. I did take a little walk through the clothing. I thought this was really cute. There was not my size though. Otherwise, I don't know. We may have had to try it on because she's, she's cute. She had little crystals and stuff on her. Witchy vibes, but also pastel. Very my vibe. Uh, just some cute sweaters. I didn't spend too long in the clothing. I just kind of wanted to peek and see if there was anything worth coming back to try on. And there were a couple things. And then I just grabbed the chicken that I needed. 
the vegan chicken, and that was it. Not too exciting. <laughs> All right, loves, we are leaving Walmart. Nothing too exciting. I mean, they had some cute Valentine's and stuff, but not really. I was looking more for de decor. Decor, if I can speak. Okay, so we are just driving up to Target. I will probably, I think I'm going to get a matcha. A matcha. Um, so we are going to drive up to the Starbucks by Target because this one was not open. It was too busy for me in there, though. I stayed in there as long as I just kind of peeked at stuff. I was going to look at home decor, and I was like, girl, not today. Not today. You know when you're trying to walk through an aisle, and, like, no matter where you go, someone has either left a cart in front of, like, what you're trying to look at? Well, oh, you know, stuff like that. Or people are just <sighs> visibly annoyed. Like, I was trying to, like, walk down the aisle, but there were so many obstacles in my way like people coming out with a cart coming out and the guy that was walking behind me was like so close to me and he kept huffing and puffing I'm like I can't move any faster so if you're upset then I don't know why do people just like I know some people have bad days and they want to be in a bad mood but like huffing and puffing is not going to get you anywhere faster you can move from behind me and go another way but I don't know people are just grumpy and I want you grumpy I wish I had a coffee Part of me wants to go in and look at the Valentine's Day stuff, but I just know, girl, I don't think I have the energy for it today. I got what I really absolutely needed to get done, uh, but I just have a pickup at Target, so it makes it so much easier. And it's really nice for people like me, who like, I have arthritis, I have a bad back, and I'm able to get like my cat litter just put in the back, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Like, it just, it, it helps so much. So I'm very excited. Bless Target pickup. Uh, yeah, okay. I will go to Target and I'll either see you after Target or at home. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's up. But I got what I needed at Walmart, so that's what matters. Nothing too fun, but necessities. All right. I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> um, this Starbucks is closed too, so I guess no Starbucks. I was actually going to... Here, I'm going to turn this off for a second. Uh, tell you guys, I saw a TikTok that if you text... Okay, if you text hi to 78887. It's like a good vibes messenger thing with Starbucks. And after a few days, they do send you 150 bonus stars. From what I'm understanding from the text, I finally, I did get mine. It said that I'm getting them. So it's a free drink if you have the Starbucks app. So I got the text that said I'm getting them, but I don't see them in my Starbucks app yet. So don't quote me on that. But if you want to try it, go for it very bummed that I will not be getting a matcha right now. Are like all the Starbucks closed? I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I'm going to check in for Target. I am coming. <laughs> Someone else got bummed too. No Starbucks for us, bro. I'm going to go pick up my stuff at Target and I guess we'll make coffee at home or I'll go to wake up call. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. No, it's just not as good as a Starbucks matcha. Grumpy pants, man. Oh no. Okay, let's go pick up our Target stuff. Girl, obviously, because I talk about PMD and PMS all the time, I am on my period. She is here, which is great, because I already feel, whew, I already feel mentally a little better. Of course, you have to deal with, like, having a period, and, like, that doesn't make anyone feel great. But, like, compared to my PMDD moments, I will take it. It's like, yay, the cramps are here, but, like, it's fine. It's fine, because I feel like more like a normal human being. Like, I feel like I can function, um... And not cry every five minutes. So that's great. So much of me wants to just go buy some chocolate and natural grocers, but I'm gonna try and refrain because you know what? I've got snacks at home. If I really need a sticky snack, you're gonna fall over for sure. I would say 9.5 chances out of 10. Oh, honestly? I thought you were gonna fall so much worse than that. Hold on, I'm parking in space eight because eight is my favorite number. Okay. BRB. Hey love, so I got my Target pickup order. I was gonna just go home, but then I decided to, I'm being stubborn because I tried twice for coffee. Now I'm just gonna get coffee at somewhere else <laughs> because I was gonna use my free Starbucks today, but now I'm like, you know what? No, because I wanna get some stuff done when I get home and I need the energy and I still have to edit this later. So, uh, but yeah, I thought I'd just check in, let you guys know what's up, that I'm being stubborn. And I was like, you know what? Now at this point, I want the coffee. And I wasn't about to drive to another Starbucks and have them be closed too. So, we'll see how this goes. There is quite the line. 
the sun is about to go down so it's getting super dark in here but hopefully you can still see me i feel like there was something i was just gonna say oh my gosh turn it back on because i had something to say i'm in the very uh this line's i'm sure everyone's here because first of all this place is always hopping there used to be a dutch bros like right on the other side and a truck literally smashed into it so it's demolished and gone uh so now they're even more busy and with the two closest starbucks being closed like i'm honestly surprised i haven't had to wait longer i should have just gone home but i was just being stubborn oh what i was gonna say is the other day i went with my mama and my dad and um we went to ross and i looked around a little bit i didn't take too much footage but there is a little bit so i will probably include that honestly probably after this little ramble um and then when i get home i'll show you what i picked up because i did find some stuff and that way i can just tell you where i got it um some of it did come from hobby lobby uh cute little table so excited but um a few things did come from ross so i will do a little ross haul when we get home too the decorating is actually finally coming along which i'm very excited about uh things are starting to look cute we got a little table for luna because the number one thing you guys were talking about and one of the first things i thought about like i was all excited about the new concept and i was like oh my gosh what about luna what about luna there's not going to be a thing behind me anymore for her to sit on don't worry don't worry both Places like in my beauty room and upstairs where I film my try-ons, both of those areas will have somewhere for Luna to sit and join us if she sees fit. Of course, I'm never going to make her <laughs> join us. Um, I mean, she's always, she's literally like my little shadow. Her and Binks are always around me. Always. So they're always going to be in videos. Don't you even worry about that. Um, but yeah. Okay. It's getting dark. So uh, the quality I know goes down when it gets dark. So I'm just going to stop rambling. And why don't I show you what I saw at Ross? And then when we get home, like I said, we'll do the haul. All right, love, so here is a little bit of Ross footage from the other day. I know we had lots on the last video, but I thought I'd include it anyway because there was so much new stuff this time from the last time I went. So I thought those little crates were cute. I went for a specific thing. I knew they had a bunch of these tiny tables, and I remember really liking one. I couldn't remember the exact one. I ended up knowing when I saw it, but I thought I would check these out. These are cute, but I don't know how I feel about the design on the side. There she is. There's the one, very basic nothing too fancy but definitely my vibe the kind of marble and the gold i also thought this way <laughs> i can't speak i also thought this guy was cute but i need something a little bit more stationary i think especially if luna is gonna it's something that luna can easily jump onto because you know she's the star of the show i thought this guy was cool too oh my goodness you guys i think this thing is gorgeous i love that but she was expensive uh, i checked out some of the mirrors to see if i could find one i really wanted a big one I thought this one was cute. It was only 15, but I want like a full size mirror. I need like a big boy. So there were some cute ones there for about 55 bucks, but nothing I fell in love with. I just kind of peeked around. I needed some more hangers. So I thought I would see if they had some. I always like to look at all this little stuff because I'm going to need to decorate all of my shelves that I've been getting. Uh, so I love these little hangers. The rose gold ones are my favorite. I checked out all of the Valentine's Day stuff again. So many cute things. I love Valentine's Day decor for year round, just like I love Halloween decor for year round. You can't go wrong with a skull or a heart in my book, really. Like, how cute is this? So stinking cute. So lots of fun options if you're looking for like baked goods. Baked goods, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like baking stuff. And look how cute this blanket is. But yeah, that's it. So I went ahead and just got an Americano and then I came home and I put a little bit of this in there. It was just an Americano with oat milk. So there was some milk in there. Put a splash of this in there. And then I had some caramel syrup from Starbucks. So I just put that in my coffee for now. So that will do. And I'm sure it will be just fine for today. I really want to get an espresso machine. I have an espresso, but it's just not the, it's not the bee's knees. So we'll see. Okay, loves, I'm just filming this little part on my phone because I need to plug in my other mic to my camera and it's upstairs. Uh, but I got this little table from, I keep almost saying home goods, Hobby Lobby. Look how cute it is. My mama saw it down the aisle and I just thought it was too cute. So this is where that whole white thing was, right, Luna? This little piece of furniture was a really good deal. It was like 70 something at... Hobby Lobby and clearly Luna loves it. There won't be all the spools on there. They're just chilling. And then you guys have seen this shelf that is all dusty um, from Ross. It was dusty at Ross. So it happens. 
But yeah, I'll show you what else I got that's upstairs. Have mic on that's kind of directional. So if you can't hear me too well, it'll just be for this clip. Don't, um, I'm sorry. Here's the little table that we found at Ross for little Luna Bean. I've had this guy for a long time and finally put some batteries in it and lit it up. So this is from at home. Nothing's in its place, obviously. I got some more pant hangers. They're so cute, rose gold. Those are from Ross. And then I got these little... Let me show you. Hold on. So I got two of these little guys. They were $3.99 at Ross. I was thinking they could go on top of this. They might be a little too thick, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Might have to do something else and just use these somewhere else. But they were too cute not to get. I got this thing <laughs> to hang up for, like, purses or belts or whatever. And maybe like some accessories to put in here. So you can see there's my other one of those little crates. That's my Shein order. <laughs> my rug is all rolled up because the cats, you know, sometimes you just gotta roll it up just in case. Normally I roll it up better, but the rolling rack was on it and I was over it. I also have this little shelf that I'm probably gonna, woo, almost tripped on Luna, put right here. So yeah, I'm gonna put it above this little, a little table and then I don't know, I need to put the lights back up and I'll figure it out, but you guys are getting the gist. By the way, this was my target pickup, just the pink clear bin. <laughs> Some Oatly. I'm obsessed with these. Oh my gosh. Some cinnamon and some plant-based waffles. Wow. Wow. Excuse me, miss. Can you make an appearance on the vlog? Can we, can we make it? Can you? Yes. Oh, is she not the most beautiful girl you've ever seen? I have the most beautiful girls in the world. No comment? Okay. Okay. I understand. Is this your bin now? Luna Bean, is this your bin? My other most beautiful girl in the world. Yes. Yes. Oh, here she is. Huh? Everybody loved seeing you on the last vlog. So we gotta make sure if there's just a she in bed chilling. Not surprised. Not surprised in this household, huh? What you doing? What you doing? Look at that belly. Wow, great A. Good job. I got one of those new <laughs> I got one of those lights uh that Jacqueline Hill talks about all the time that are like I think I got it for 80 bucks on Amazon. And I'm pretty impressed, honestly. Pretty impressed. Okay, so we've got the base box and I think it's the premium lip job liner and lip pencil sharpener. That is cool. It looks like a nude in 20 cc. So I think I will definitely use that guy. Aesthetica contour series. Ooh, it's a cream contour powder. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. I'm excited to try that. I've really been into, uh, whoa more cream contouring lately and always and forever, honestly. Earth Harbor, Nymph Nectar, Super Fruit, and Radiant Balm. Ooh, look at that. This is a Wander Beauty Wondrous Escape eyeshadow palette. Here is what the palette, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous, you guys. Wow. That is 10 times prettier than I thought it was gonna be. Fully charged mascara. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so for this box, you pay 25 and the retail value of it is 160 this month. And so that's $135 extra value in there. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's look at the other one. All right, loves, I already unboxed this on Instagram, but I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm sorry that it's all open, but now you'll be able to see. Here is the palette that comes in. Oh my gosh, this packaging is so cool. It's like dimensional which is really cool. I don't think I've even heard of this brand, but this is what the palette looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Packaging on point. This I'm probably most excited for. I used to really love cover effects and honestly, I don't think I've ever tried anything from cover effects that I didn't like. So this is just a custom enhancer palette. Um, by the way, can we talk about this little card for this makeup brand? Majestic as heck. Sorry, I'm having trouble getting this open. <laughs> oh, so cute. This is gonna get dirty so fast though. Oh, they're highlights. I thought they were gonna just be like their face powder, but they're like legit highlights. Wow. Oh, I guess I was thinking hourglass. That's what I was thinking, not cover effects, but very excited about that. Um, we got a primer from Liss Beauty, a bamboo pore refining mask from Juice Beauty, and we also got this Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. It looks like it's gonna be kind of peachy, but I don't remember if I've used this exact one. Did I already say I got a Persona lip liner too? It looks like a red shade, like a dark red, kind of the same red as this packaging. 
but yeah that's everything for boxycharm so this one right here um is 187 dollars worth of product i don't know the price off of my head i think it's like 35 38 i don't know though don't call me i'm sorry it does not say and i know they keep changing prices but definitely worth it if you guys are thinking hello if you're thinking about checking out boxycharm i'll leave my link down below so I've got two Mindful Souls unboxings to do for you guys, and I'm a jerk, and I did not open this one, and look, it's wrapped like a gift. So I'm gonna save, <laughs> it's safe to say this is last month's, and this is this month. So let's open this one first. If you haven't heard of Mindful Souls, if you are into like crystals and witchy vibes, stuff like that, you're gonna love it. This one straight up smells like patchouli. It smells pretty good though. Ooh, what is this? So there's a little, a little dream catcher. I'm actually part Native American, if you guys did not <laughs> know that. So that's pretty cool. Got that guy. Um, a rosemary fragrance oil. I'm gonna take all of these out of the little bags and then I'll come back and show you. So cute. So there's this little guy, it says he's supposed to promote peace. I won't go into every single detail of everything because that'll take forever. Got this bracelet, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Oh my goodness, the tiny things make me so happy. A little rose quartz tower. And then we've got a little necklace that can be either a pendulum or a necklace and I believe it's amethyst. It looks like amethyst, does it say? Amethyst, yes. So that's what's in last month's box and let's open this month's box. Month's box, we've got, oh, so cute. Heal the world, a little sticker. Let's see what this is. Oh, affirmation for career. Wonderful new opportunities are opening up for me to use my unique creative skills and abilities. That's cute. Oh, here is the, here's what it is. Knock Champa. Oh my gosh. When I first started working at Hot Topic, we carried that. Vibes for life. Okay. I'm going to open all these. BRB. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am totally obsessed. This is probably my favorite thing I've gotten so far. I love citrine so much. It's really good for creativity and stuff like that. So if you're into it, oh my goodness love this i think this is so cute i do wish that the gold matched the gold on the wire but i'm not even not even mad not even mad we've got another amethyst right here let me see what this is blue gold stone bracelet so the tumbled amethyst stone the nog champa this is a jade hair comb this is a rose quartz pendulum Ooh. Very nice. This was a really good box. Wow, little things. Wow. Okay, so if you guys want to check out Mindful Souls, I'll leave that link down below as well. I've just got all of these boxes. They're just random stuff. A lot of them are boxy charms. So, oh, let me turn this on. Okay, so I've got some little bins, and I also grabbed some <laughs> some baggies. So. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing yet, but I figured I could just put like lip products in one or so on, you know, skincare, tiny skincare in another, you know, anything to do with eyes. I'm going to put in this little guy for now. I'll probably get more bins. So it's a little more organized and that's just a eyebrow pencil. I will probably just zoom through the rest of this, but I thought I would share some of my organizing with you guys.
Okay, loves, I think I'm gonna call it a day on this. There is still some more, but I think I need to figure it out. You know, I think skincare just needs to be like the gist of it. And then anything that's not skincare can go in bags or bins. Um, I don't know. I'm not a good organizer. I'm just trying to start. So what I did is I have two full bags of skincare and then there's skincare all around in here. BoxyCharm sends a lot of skincare. Um, I've got some random stuff like a flat iron. <laughs> Uh, this little bin is lipstick. This is eyeshadow and stuff. There are palettes all throughout here though. They're not just in here. This was all like smaller stuff, some lashes, some tiny palettes, stuff like that. Um, this is a miscellaneous. I'm going to sit in there really careful. It's got some like body wash, a hair mask, stuff like that. Uh, this is just some skin stuff. A lot of these I'm, I need to go through and pick my colors out of. Blushes and bronzers. Here's the other skincare bag. Um, yeah, you see, this is a miscellaneous, so it's organized chaos, what's new, and then I took a couple things out that I really wanted to play with. I think this will be great for Valentine's Day, and I still haven't used it, so I think I'm gonna maybe try this guy out. It looks really pretty, you can even see it, and of course I took out my favorite moisturizer. I did not realize that Dermot E sent me this, and I'm very excited. So I don't know, we might need a second bin. <laughs> I think we might need a skincare bin and then everything else. Shoot. We'll see though, but I feel a lot more accomplished. All right, love. So I was going to do some clothes too. I was going to pull stuff out of my closet, but I might save that for the next vlog. Uh, just because honestly, I'm a little pooped today. You know, days are just tired. You can't help it. So at least I got this started. This is something I feel a lot more prepared. Now when I do Poshmark orders, I will have, you know, some stuff ready. I also ordered some more face masks for that. Yeah, if you guys want like some beauty bundles or some skincare bundles or something on Poshmark, let me know. Uh, I might go make some dinner. I might include that too. Let's go make a salad and then I think that'll be good. Okay, I'm losing my mind. All I've had is so much coffee. Did have some protein waffles this morning, but it's like dinner time. So I, why do I do this to myself? Because I know that if I stop, I won't keep going and I wanted to get this started. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go make some dinner. I'm probably gonna pre-film the little outro. So sorry that I'm gonna look exactly like this. <laughs> Girl, we're just starting with some chicken strips. Chicken strips? Yeah. Okay, so it's looking good. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning and garlic powder to the chicken. The fake chicken. The vegan chicken. The chicken. Mm. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water. BRB. I'm just gonna give this another moment and then I'm gonna add some zucchini. I'm just gonna do it all in one pot because why not? It all works the same. And then I've got my lettuce ready. So I'm gonna start building my salad. I'm just using my favorite lettuce from Trader Joe's per usual. It looks like this. As I said, you guys, I am hungry. So I'm gonna add a decent amount of zucchini. I like to add a decent amount of zucchini to pretty much anything I can <laughs> because it fills me up and I like it. I put a little bit more garlic for the zucchini, but this is about done. Got my lettuce in here. I put a little bit of dressing on it. This is what I'm using my absolute fave. And I'm just going to toss it a little more and then I'm going to put this on there and some of this Parmesan. It's so good. All right, loves, here is dinner. I made some garlic bread to go with it. Super easy, I put a little drizzle of the dressing on top of the chicken too. It's so good, tastes like a real chicken Caesar salad to me given I've been vegan for over two years and haven't eaten real chicken in like 17 years, I don't even know. Um, but I'm excited to go eat this so good. All right, love. So that is everything for this vlog. Let me know if you want more organizational type stuff. I think that would be fun. Again, I will leave that email that I was talking about to start that new kind of series uh, down below. It's just askshortcake at gmail.com. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see me organize my like the stuff out of my closet, let me know. I'm sure you do. You probably would have enjoyed that more than the makeup today, but I just had random boxes everywhere and I wanted to cut down on that. So that took a little bit of priority, but we will definitely organize my closet soon. All right, loves. I think that is everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you like vlogs. Sugar. 
share it if you could. It does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right, loves, I think that's it. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Not today. I don't know. So we're just going to see what you're shaking, what we're going to do. You know, if I've got time, oh, my art, my, my order is ready. My order is ready. So that's exciting. Um, okay. Don't worry. I obviously find other things to eat. <laughs> Will you just stir? Thank you. Good job. Apparently I just need to be stirred. Well, you know, it's just going to fall over. But as soon as I'm stirring, I'm like, girl, stay in your spot. <laughs> Anything to say. Ooh, what is this? Dragon booty. <laughs> I said booty. Why do I always do that? Dragon beauty is 160. Thank you. What is there in my back? My neck. My back. Hey Siri. <laughs>